guys, yeah. real quick, I have a video I want to play real quick. And this is very, it's to your point, oh, actually. Okay. It's um, cute. It's to right. highlight, highlight what's happening right now, Rolo. You might like this video, too. <laughs> I might. They pick wisely. They pick super, super wisely. They're highly selective with the women that they choose. And then when they've chosen her correctly, they spoil her endlessly. They put her through the ringers. It's like, you know when you go to six, seven rounds of an interview to get into those corporate jobs, they make you go through interview after interview after interview, a bit like going to a Harvard application. When you get to Harvard, they treat you well. Your life is set. But up until that point, they put you through it. What Fresh and Frit teach is take any kind of woman and then don't give her too much, play games, treat her harshly. Oh, she hates her. <laughs> they've got a reputation they can't just take no any old girl and then about. try and train her they ain't got time for that they take a woman who's been well trained by her family this was what truly high so value. I, I just did a reaction video to this can you that very clip so here's the thing here's where it is <laughs> is incorrect because uh, what she's saying what might have made sense like 50 years ago but she believes that there are these high status men that have this plethora of good women to choose from mm. and the statistics show us different mm. and I don't think I think because Sadia is not a man trying to be with a high status woman mm. I don't think that's and a, she is not a legal psychologist either we <laughs> thank are you. have established I don't, I, that I don't think she I don't think we'll give her a mic and a <laughs> give her a mic. Fake. I, I don't think that that's you know, she, from her standpoint she doesn't see it enough I understand yes. in practice in a vacuum that sounds yeah. great, guys. Well, here's what we need to do. Let's all just have fucking high standards, yeah. and we'll all just have good traditional women that'll come to us. Yeah. But then we'll, we'll, but that's not reality. In reality, we'll walk around and we'll meet some really she, fucking hot girls, and they're fucking crazy. And then we have. Nervous. I think it's harder for you to meet a traditional woman than Joe Blow on the street. Yeah, mm. no, for sure. Because because yeah. the non-traditional women are fight. I used to say this about Bulzarian. Uh, Dan would might meet the hottest girl. She he loves them. They they totally get along. Whatever. But as soon as the girl goes to the bathroom, six big titty strippers walk in and like push. <laughs> Her out of the way, and that you're right. If you Flat have, temptation. if you have more status, then it becomes, it definitely becomes more difficult. Sadia Khan did say something else that I thought was interesting. It was another clip. She said that the average. 20, the average 19 year old girl now has had more has had sex with more men than the average 53 year old woman now. She said, yeah. and it's when I thought about that, it's like that's kind of hard. That's probably true. Yeah, the average 53 year old woman, evil. about average 53 so year old evil. woman, never had a, a period where she felt the, the necessity phase. to do that. And like, so it's true. The average 19 year old girl probably does have a higher body count than the average 53 year old yeah, woman. Wild. Let me respond to this yeah. with this super chat right here. Yeah, okay, sure. this is this is Johnny D143. Thank you. Uh, we need to have more conversations like this with men who talk about intergender dynamics and add value. This is what men did in the Academy of Ancient Greece. I agree 100%. And you know mm. why I agree? Because Cause you that were there? bitch does not know what the fuck she's talking exactly. about. Exactly. And that's who people are like because she's pretty, she's got big tits, she has no degree in fucking, she's not a clinical psychologist. At least Jordan Peterson has a, a degree in clinical psychology, okay? Yeah, never asked so, him for dating. So advice. what happens is she yeah. gets popular by riding you guys' jock the you whole fucking time, right? Yeah, yeah. For a while, and yeah. again, <laughs> anybody who watches your show knows she's full of shit. So yeah. when we have this round table discussion right here, and we're not kicking dumb hoes off, you know, we're not Frank Castling anybody, we're having this conversation right here, how come they're not doing clips of this fucking show? How come they're not going and saying, "Hey, why do, hey, this was a really good conversation. Why don't we clip this and see if, see how it works and see how it flies?" The problem is that nobody's shedding blood. Yeah. Nobody's dead on the floor. Mm -hmm. There's no big titties here. They're, they're not flaming, they're yeah. not red, and they're not, you know, on fire, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, if you're a female making any type of like dating type content that has any type of a, uh, you know, alignment with red pill you're gonna go viral because it's like oh shit we got a girl in here that like agrees with us oh my god this is awesome and they just circle jerk but the reality is where her is like i just keep it down she's a cloud chaser man she's yeah, she been talking about us for fucking cold. years yeah, exactly. man she, no she begged to come on her shit like and I, I was like nah when we were in dubai on multiple occasions i turned it down this is the first time i've ever revealed this shit and I was just like, nah, like, if you want to come, you got to bring some other chicks, which you were not going to bring me on. <laughs> that's, that's the fucking truth. If I'm going to be all the way at yeah, that and I got the proof. But, like, she is again, all she's been coming at us for fucking years now at this point, uh, well over a year, um, just saying all this bullshit. And it's just like, uh, but she's a traditional woman, right? <laughs> she wants the exact same thing. She's on camera. She's in her 30s. Promoting this. She's she understands her lifestyle, but she doesn't understand anything. Yo, by the way, she's a single mom? Yeah. That's what I heard. I, I was looking up her degree. Oh, there's, Reddit, there's Reddit. There's Reddit. I know she's pushing Reddit thirty and thread single. Thread. Yeah. yeah, I know she. She, yeah. she, she kept. But she don't got isn't really it funny, shit. right? Women come into our space and they sit down, listen to the points, and say, you know what? I could. I could say this as well. So in a softer, nicer tone to appeal to more people at a bigger level and gain a following. And then what they do is they grift off the off the space mm -hmm. and they say, you know what? I'm the arbiter of truth now. 
But bitch, you're, you're a girl. Yeah. You don't you understand yeah. us. If, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, crazy, bro. If you yeah. if you try to give really good advice to men, it's very ugly to the public. We're yeah. like, hey, you yes. know, remember, mm. don't listen to exactly what she says. Mm. Pay more attention to what she does. It's very yes. ugly to the public. Mm. I like Chris Williamson, but Chris Williamson has a, a clip where he goes, uh, just Almost be sexual. your, he goes, just be yourself. He says it with his Welsh mm. accent. And I'm like, dude, you take your shirt off for money <laughs> telling <laughs> men to just be themselves. That is crazy. It's like Shaquille O'Neal saying, just get taller. It's <laughs> fucking <laughs> crazy. Just look at when the banner this, on his like YouTube channel. He's it's just like, like rip like this. Am I, my whole point is this. What's happened is there's two types of dating coaches. There's the dating coach who gives the good advice, but now we're watching how the sausage is made and it's ugly. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't want to see well, that. And now there's the dating coach that your girlfriend approves of. And that's Sadia Khan. That's, that's yeah. Chris Williamson. Yeah, yeah. You should that's, listen to her, that's, man. That's, that's, that's Alex Date Psych. That's Mac and Murphy. They're, they're dating coach that your girlfriend approves of. And that's what's supposed to happen now. Isn't it funny? All these people are super good looking, giving us it's dating amazing. advice. Yes, it's it's amazing, amazing, amazing how that works, Chad. It's, it's, it's just so funny. And so that's how you're Here's, here's the biggest litmus test if the advice is good. Mm. Dating in itself is adversarial, right? Yeah. Right. And we've talked about this role of nausea, Mating right? strategies. But, yeah, are like, like yes. the man is trying to get sex and the woman is trying to get attention and resources. Mm -hmm. Both parties are fighting to keep their resource and get the others without giving up theirs. Mm. So if you're giving advice to one party, it automatically puts the mm -hmm. other party at a disadvantage. Yep. So if you're giving proper fucking advice... The other party should be enraged that you're giving the other one information that puts them at a significant right. disadvantage. Well, and I've always said this too. When women give each other, warn each other about men, it's called advice. Mm -hmm. When men warn women, uh, men about women, they call it misogyny. Mm -hmm. Because the truth is, women don't want you to know the truth because that's their only fucking power. 100%. When they, mm -hmm. you know the truth and you can't be finessed and you can't be manipulated, guess what? She ain't got no hands either. She yeah. can't do shit to you. Well, they, so they don't want you to know. But this is why I always say women dating coaches, right, or women that give advice in this situation, they give you half truths. A lot of things that Sadia says is actually correct. I'm not going to shit on her. But a lot of things she says is very incorrect, and I'm not going to blame her because she's a woman. Yeah, how would she know? She, she does not know. Danger.